that really gave me the feeling of having a, let's say, a secret superpower. Hello, my name is uh, Julian de Witt and I'm a Kegler. I first discovered Kaggle when I was listening to a software engineering uh, podcast called TechZing. And I believe they interviewed uh, Jeremy Howard there and he was talking about how uh, a crowdsourced competition was much more effective in cracking complex machine learning problems than let's say when doing the, the normal scientific process, publishing papers and things like that. Having a competition was a real advantage for really getting to know the state of the art. First of all, I have my family, uh, so doing things with family. And next to this, uh, my hobby is just software engineering, machine learning. So when I have free time, I always read new papers and things like that and try out new stuff. I'm a software engineering by training, but um, nowadays, 80% of my work revolves around engineering machine learning solutions in for business documents, for uh, fruit and vegetable grading, for uh, medical image analysis. So yeah, basically machine learning work, machine learning engineering. Uh, well, I didn't even know there were uh, levels to accomplish. Uh, I was just doing competitions for fun and I did quite well and suddenly I noticed that I was a, a, a master that day and then there was the grandmaster level and I, I suddenly noticed I was a grandmaster. Of course nowadays I'm quite proud of it because not many people can say it but uh, at that time it was not a big thing for me because I only noticed it afterward. Uh, for me, um, I'm always a bit uh, stubborn. Uh, I always want to do things a bit different from the normal. And uh, sometimes that's quite hard to, uh, yeah, to have the trust that you are doing the right thing. But uh, I think that I'm allowed to, do, to be a bit stubborn and do something new. Uh, and, and be confident that you're not really doing stop, stupid things because you have some proven knowledge in the field. I think it's basically, I, I did all the neural network libraries. I wrote my own neural, neural networks from the beginning. So now I have a very good grasp of yeah, the whole stack of a neural no network appliances from the GPU, the hardware, until the high level software. And uh, this is still useful today, even now there are much higher level libraries. I think it's the 2016 uh, Data Science Bowl. Uh, I, I ended up third on my own and I was uh, applying uh, units in that uh, competition. I, I, I think it, the paper was just came out and uh, it, it really felt like I had a big advantage because nobody was using a unit at that time and uh, it was basically the most easy um, competition that I did in all the time uh, and I ended up for third. So um, yeah, that, that really gave me the feeling of having a, let's say, a secret superpower. I think uh, crowdsourcing uh, solutions is a very effective way to, to, to come up with solutions for problems and uh, to also to see what is the state of the art, uh, w which tools work, which methods work. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really a, a, a good test bed for new things. Um, next to this, uh, the, the, the state of the art of today is the baseline of tomorrow in Kaggle. So if you win a competition with the state of the art method, the next competition, everybody will use it. And so this, this keeps the, the field moving. Don't look at other people, just do your own thing and hope for the best and try to learn something and have fun. I think, I guess, yes.